the concept is that there you have two equations, right? And then both one of them donates an ion that's also present in another one. Uh huh. Or something. Yeah. Okay. So the common ion effect. Uh, let's just pick some random weak acid, say H, N O two. Okay. So you have say you'll have an acid. You can write out the acid equation. There's your acid equation. This will have a certain pH, whatever that is, that you could calculate you by what method would you find the pH? Find the concentration of hydronium ion. You find the concentration of ion, and that would have to come from an ice table, because it's weak acid. And to be able to do that, what piece of information have you not been given yet? Concentration. You need a concentration of this acid. Okay, so some molarity to start off this problem. Okay, now let's say we make it more complex. You add into this beaker or whatever it's, it is, uh, some, <coughs> let's go potassium nitrite. So add another molarity. So um, in essence, it's gonna be HNO2 plus potassium nitrate? No. No. I mean, it'll be in this, not, with, with, that's with, not how the reaction oh, goes, okay. but yeah, they'll be together okay. in the same solution. Okay. Okay. So, let's just give these some fake molarities. So, let's say this is 1.0 molar, and let's say this is uh, 0.25 molar. Okay. Well, adding this is the same as adding an O2 minus. 0.25 molar. Why is that? K is a spectator. K is a spectator, so you can ignore it. Yeah. So spectators, they always just, regardless if it's a strong whatever or not, it'll just. Okay. Regardless of it's a strong. Well, is that an acid potassium? It, is this molecule an acid? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. What is this molecule? Acid, base, or neutral? Oh, is that how you figure it out? And then you figure out whether it's... Yeah. Is it this an is... Acid? No, it's a base. This it's is base. slightly basic. Okay. Because... Because that's neutral. K is neutral. Yeah, K is neutral because it comes from a strong base, KOH. Okay. So K is neutral. Anything neutral is considered spectator, and it's not involved in reaction. Okay. This comes from its uh, conjugate is HNO2, which is a weak acid, so this must be a weak base. So you have a neutral plus a base, this is basic. Is that okay? Another way you thought, well, NO2 is the conjugate of this, it has to be, has to be uh, basic. So we've got, we're adding a slightly basic entity. When you add that, what's, if you add it to this reaction, what will happen? The pH will go up. Okay, well, one, I'm a step behind you. It'll shift to the left, okay, if you add it, because you're adding a common ion because it's common between the two. This concentration will go what? Up or down? Down. Down. So H3O plus will go down. What happens to pH at that moment? It goes up. It goes up, okay? So let me set up the two problems kind of separately. Uh, in this case over here, I'll go without KNO2, and then I'll do one over here with KNO2, and you can see how it, it's a little different. Yeah? Wait, what did you say about why it will shift to the left? Why will it shift to the left? Because I added NO2 minus. Uh -huh. Well, that's a product. Okay. You add more of that, it has to shift to the left. Because it shifts to the left, there's, it's going to decrease the amount of both of these quantities. Okay. So this will decrease the concentration. It's shifting to the left. It's reacting. And if this goes down, mathematically, the negative log of H plus, this has to go up. It's okay? And you can think of it this way. I'm losing my acidic power, so pH better go up. Better go away from zero. <coughs> Okay, so now uh, we have, <coughs> in fact, both of these, the reaction's exactly the same. 
So here I'll do the math for you, and again, I'm going to write them two separate cases. One without the common ion, and one with, so you can see how it looks. But the reaction, again, exactly the same. So that part doesn't change. The only thing that's really going to change is the I line. Okay? I, C, and E. I, C, and E. So again, we're trying to find the pH. You're going to see, again, without, without KNO2, we always ignore water. This, I said, was 1.0 molar, 0, and 0. There's your I line without. When you add it in, then you have 1.0 molar, ignore water, and now you have a numerical value right here. Okay? See the difference? That's the only difference when you have a common ion. There is a numerical value in one of the products. Okay? So mathematically, that's going to be the only difference. Everything else will be exactly the same. Minus x, plus x, plus x, minus x. Plus x, plus x, x. There you go. So you see, it's almost the, the exact same ice table when you have a common ion. In this case, because I added a common ion, what happens? What actually is this now? It's a buffer. Yeah, because I have an acid in its conjugate base. So I don't have to use the ice table here. I could use henderson hasselbalch if I prefer to. Here, can I use henderson hasselbalch No. I can't because I don't have a buffer. There's no conjugate base in zero. Okay. Where's the cutoff for how, like, um, how equal the molar molarities have to be for it to be open? How equal do the molarities have to be to work? with the henderson hasselbach Yeah. Or to be a buffer? Mm -hmm. I'd say within about a factor of 10 or so. It, it, you should be fine. Uh, what really is the major concern, mathematically, is that your assumption that x is small has to hold true for the smaller number. And if that doesn't work, then you can't use the henderson hasselbach Yes. So how do you know if it's a buffer? Like you were saying, like how, do you, how can you tell? How can I tell it's a buffer? Because I have an acid, oh. which is weak, yeah. and it's conjugate base. Okay. So and I have certain molarities that with a, within a factor of ten of each okay. other. So it's definitely a buffer. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is not. I do have an acid, but the conjugate base value is zero. Okay. So not gonna work. Yeah. Yes. Um, is there a question about this? Well, it has. Okay. Yeah. But um, I'm going to have to test it because the addition of the common ion to the acid in solution will cause, and there is two answers. There's um, the reaction to shift left and the solution to HCO3, but it's only one. Okay. I'll have to look at that. Okay. Any more questions on this? Yeah. So uh, <coughs> on the exam. Um, questions regarding the common ion will be mostly theory or actual calculations? Anything. Anything. Mm -hmm.